Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Adela with another new video. As we have started a tutorial series about Tecla Structural Designer. So uh, already we have completed uh, our 18 lesson and about basic phenomenon of Tecla Structural Designer and already we have completed a structural model uh, and also we have checked that that model is okay or not. So all video are given in description. If you think that that is required for you, you can watch that and if you are a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so let's uh, start first of all we'll open our tech list actual designer I am using the software version is 2019 okay tech list actual designer 2019 and its version is 19 0.0.104 okay so and in this channel you will found many video many video about civil engineering related and also software re related and also basic phenomenon of I mean basic knowledge about civil engineering so if you're new to our channel and if you're first seeing that video then subscribe to our channel after that now we'll click here open and we'll open our previous model that is our previous model if you're following me and if you're watching our video then you know that that is our previous model so mm, now this is our model okay so uh, in our previous video I have shown you that how we'll check that model that its model is okay or not so that this model is okay for us uh, and also I have shown you that when uh, this model is not okay then how we'll solve that so if you knew her you can watch that the link can given in the description I think that will be very helpful for you so now in this video I am going to show that how we will apply load on the data structure okay so this is an important terms that how will apply load here so in this video I am going to show that how will apply load here so first of all to apply load we have to assign load so for that go here load then go here okay after go here load case just click here load case and here is there have some load you can modify that according to requirement so first of all you are seeing that it's self weight or excluding slab okay self weight excluding slab I mean uh, self weight of the structure okay two is the slab self width okay then here this is the uh, dead load here is a dead load and type uh, I mean our type is dead load then here is the live load and here we have selected live load and also you can use the live load reduction factor I mean load live load reduction factor if you need so I'm not going to do that then here is the row float okay so that is it and also you can click here okay and after that from here you can change that suppose now if I I'll delete that and also I'll delete that now if you click at load case and suppose if you think that you need to add some load then how will add that okay so for that you have to click here add and here you are seeing that the load have been added also if you think that you will change by clicking here also you can change that you can give that name and also you can select the types of load but if you think that uh, suppose if you select live load here you, they have option pattern load then a reduction you can use that after that also you can click here and uh, just click here and change that load name so layer live load okay then select from here okay from here select which types of load live load and from here you, they have some option pattern load live load and include in generator so I will select if you select live load reduction factor also it will re mm, uh, reduce its weight I mean your structure will be economical 
so uh, this is the types of load that is required so after that press ok ok after pressing ok now we will apply load now the question is for which floor we will apply load ok uh, so first of all I will select uh, the our first floor for that you have to come here and just uh, one thing I need to show you that when I have first time learned about that and suddenly I have did close that okay then I'm just being very confused that how we'll get that from where I'll, uh, I'll get that so just easily click here on Windows and click here the according to requirement okay so uh, if you need that option if you click here structure windows then it will be available here so from here by clicking here on which you required or which you wrought not required you will get everything from here okay so here the properties windows if you uh, click that you will found that option okay so in this way you can do that after that we'll go here load now the question is for which floor will apply load first of all we'll apply load for that ground floor so I'll just click here level and from her our ground floor then I will just double click here and just see here this is our ground floor from here you can see that this is our ground floor after that we will apply load now which types of load will apply first suppose we will apply dead load first for that you have to come here just here just see here there have the show process and from here we have to select which types of load you want to apply just here first of all if you select that this is the self weight of the total structure okay then this is the self weight of slab and after that we'll just um, apply dead load and live load okay so just first of all click dead load so when you will uh, just one thing and to show when it's none you will see that they have no option to apply load right they have no option to apply load so after that you have to select here dead load and now see that every thing are available here now who steps up load you want to apply on your that slab so after that uh, we'll select dead load and now who steps up load will apply from here there have there have area load then there have full load okay create full length udls on member then here there have udls then u vdls okay in varying uniformly i mean uvl load so there have many types of load point load transitional full load so there have many types of load and from here you can apply anything so first of all we'll consider that in our that member I mean in our that member we have uh, wall load so for our load we'll select that load I mean full uniformly dead load okay full uniformly uh, distributed load okay uniformly UDL uniformly distributed load and then I'll just and if you need to give her some specific okay then you can uh, use that so I will use that on and from here I will select for who is member I want to give the load okay so suppose they have a all load now uh, when you have click here now you, you have to give her the load okay so full uh, member types then a direction from here you can change the direction I will select the global Z okay I mean in downward direction after that here is the alignment along element then here is the value it is its KLF okay keep per linear fit so if I calculate that what is our value so suppose we have a uh, as our one all to another wall distance is 11 feet so our height is 11 feet and also if we consider that um, for as here the linear feet that means one feet 
so this is the area of on fit wall and our thickness will be suppose 5 inch okay so uh, it will be 5 and divided by 12 then this is the volume of our uh, linear fit wall then uh, we'll multiply by 1 to 0 unit weight of our wall suppose 1 to 0 then it will be 550 pound per linear feet so I will divide that by 1000 to get it in KLF 0.55 so I will just click here 0.55 sorry sorry I have to delete that 0.55 so this is our load 0. 0.55 okay 0. 0.55 KLF after that after that select the member where just you want to apply the load suppose uh, in that member in that member in that member then in that member in that member when you will apply load you will see that color are changing okay see in that member that member also you can see that in 3d mode so if you click here it will show you in 3d mode and just see here the load are seeing here so just uh, click here then just click here then just click here again click here click here in this way just uh, apply load I mean this is the all load it will take some time I'll try to go first and there have one there have one and there have one and there have one and also they have one they have one so just see here maybe I have completed that uh, I have applied it wall load here okay I have applied it wall load so uh, after that we'll go in maybe they have missing yes there one missing okay and uh, everywhere maybe complete just see here yes we have completed uh, so we have applied it our wall load everywhere now we'll apply our uh, I mean a dead load for our floor so what will be the dead load for our floor so for that you have to click here area okay and must you have to select dead load then click here area load and after that come here what will be the uh, I mean a dead load of that area load so uh, suppose it will be 60 60 pound okay so it will be 60 PSF and I'm just uh, showing you that how will just how will just work here okay I'm not going to do any uh, I mean by following any code I'm not doing by following any code I'm just showing you that how will do it okay so after that So after giving load here, okay, load uh, 60 psf, and you, you have to give a load according to your uh, code. So uh, after giving here load, just click here. I mean, click like that way in every slot, like that way, and your all load are applied it here. So if you see here in 3D mode just your all load are applied it here okay so just it's, it's color is color have changed that means all loader applied it in your slab so after that from here select live load okay just see that when we select live load, the color have changed so just select live load and uh, in uh, change your load uh, suppose I will consider 80 PSF then again similarly just give your load like that way just see here that is our load 
that we have applied it to our slab so we have uh, completed our slab and also if you have any load that you have to uh, apply it here I mean you have to apply it here then also you can apply apply it here and uh, after that so when you have completed applied it load in your uh, ground floor then click here for second floor okay this is our uh, second floor and similarly from here select dead load okay and from here select full UDL okay from here select full UDL
uh, we're actually done and thank you for being with us till now and uh, I'll suggest you that if you're a civil engineer then is with us and also support us by subscribing our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update first time and we have uploaded I mean we have provided loads for every floor now we'll go for uh, last floor and you know that in our top floor you know in for of I mean for our top floor they have only wall load okay only wall load and also live load they have no all load in middle plus so I will just select from here uh, they have no dead load except all load so I'll just click at full dead load and from here I will give here parapet I'll use a parapet here so it will be suppose uh, it's 3 feet so it will be like 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 KLF ok so we'll just give here all value here in side of if we see it in 3 here oh sorry here 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 and also here in here just here okay it's done if we see it in to remote so we have provided load in our site so after that we will just provide the live load so from here we will select live load so from here we will select live load and we'll give her sorry uh we have to give her area load for live load and we'll just give her 80 okay and also uh, in different country it is value are different so you have to give that value according to that country code so we have done we have complete our load applying I mean our simple load applying and in our next video I'll show you about our uh, that how we'll apply it and assign our I mean uh, wind load and also earthquake load so thank you for being with us and if you're new to this channel subscribe to our uh, channel and also like our video and also leave a comment and don't forget to share that video so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video